Hello and welcome to Non-Stop Wrestling Chat. My name is Barry and this is your Monday night. What the hell is happening, Raw Review? <laughs> Before we go any further, guys, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and that wee beautiful notification bell. We're on the road to 200 subscribers and I would like to thank every single person that has subscribed, that has been on the podcast, that has chatted to me via DMs and Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, wherever. Every single person that's reached out, that's chatted, that's enjoyed being on the show, that's no enjoyed being on the show, that's no doesn't agree with me, that agrees with me, whatever. I want to thank you all, guys. It's been an awesome journey so far. We're on that road to 200 and I can't wait to hit it. Um, I'm probably going to be posting a little bit more over on Twitter um, just to kind of push towards that 200 subscriber mark because I want to hit a big special. Um, and I'm hopefully going to be doing a special NWC show coming up for um, my birthday. Um, so I'm hopefully going to be doing a special NWC show. I'm going to be reaching out to some people and hopefully we'll get it killed. Anyway, guys, let's get into today's show. What The reason why you're here is raw. So... We all know MVP and Lashley and a bunch of kind of women in the ring. Ladies, ladies in the ring. No wrestling women, ladies. <laughs> uh, they have cool little segment. Drew comes out. Yeah. You know what's coming. Drew comes out and says, I want a rematch. And I, It was a cool little segment at the start. It was nothing special. Um, we get AJ Styles versus Eli that was next. AJ wins via DQ. This was really boring. Nothing really happened. Um... I'd like to get Ray T. Dar's opinion on this one because I know he's a big AJ Styles mark so I would like to get what he thought about this but this was pretty boring for me so I'm not even going to rate it. It felt bad watching AJ do this kind of shit. After it, Eli tosses AJ into the ring steps and attacks um, and then Omos comes out to, for the kind of save. Then we get Riddle and the Nudie which was a little bit funny. Riddle and the Nudie, guys, sorry about that. Um, a little kind of segment there. So there's a couple of funny minutes in it. It didn't really make, it didn't do anything to like serve a purpose or mean anything. But uh, aye, so we got the riddle saying that he's lost his snake, then Autumn coming up, which got me chuckling. Um, and then Kofi saying reptile dysfunction, which also got me chuckling. Yes, I'm childish, I'm a dad, and these are dad jokes. So it's going to, it's got, it worked <laughs> for me. Alexa and Lily have a little segment, but we're moving on quickly for that. Then we get Graza and Drew uh, Gulak. Sorry. Uh, pointless, guys. Under three minutes. No even going to read it. Graza got the win. Didn't really... No. Randy Orton versus Kofi Kingston. Kofi gets the win. Wood starts turning his horn. Orton shouts to shut up. And uh, they kind of get the... A roll-up happens. So, uh, It wasn't a joke. That really happened. So I'm going to give it 1.5 stars because it only lasted like five minutes. The women have a little segment and it literally felt like how many women can we get in this because you had like Dana Brooke, um, you literally had the women's tag team like Clan on kind of stuff like that and you had Charlotte and Rhea but uh, aye. Then the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship match, Tamina and Natalia versus Baszler and Jax. Tamina and Natalia got to win, at least they're going to keep the belts on them. I'm not going to rate this, it was pretty quick, it was like three minutes, I was under five minutes so it was like three, four minutes. But uh, it was pretty quick. Didn't really do anything for any team. Um, and just kind of reinstated that we're keeping the belts on these people instead of from giving them to anybody else. Ricochet versus Sheamus. Um, Sheamus gets a win. This is probably one of the matches of the nights for me. I'm going to give us three stars. It was a really good match. I love seeing these two in the ring against each other. Ricochet is really good. Sheamus is good. And they put on a hell of a show. So three stars for that one. Asuka versus Charlotte Flair. I'm giving this 2.5. Asuka got the win. It was a good... Good match. There was nothing really a... I, I hope this is them trying to repair Asuka for the future because I feel the our WWE title run over the past year has really just harmed her for some way. I don't know how her having the belt has hurt her, but I, I hope this is them trying to build her back up to, be, to mean something. So... Going to give that 2.5. The Lumberjack match. There was another Lumberjack match, which was John Morrison versus Damien Priest. Damien Priest gets the win. Why did they not just do this one last night? I don't under, I don't get Obviously, they needed that money from the cheap promotion. Um, but I... Still, I don't really like Lumberjack matches. I'm going to give it a two stars because it was no bad in ring. But, um, yeah. I don't understand why they just didn't do this last night instead of from the fucking zombies. And I guess they're no doing like a Morrison coming out as a zombie, which I'm pretty certain they had planned. And then they seen how annoyed people were about it. 
and they've went, okay, we're going to ditch that. Um, Kofi Kingston versus Bobby Lashley was the main event. Kofi gets a win, but it wasn't for the WWE Championship. Drew came out for the run-in, causing Kofi to get the win. I, I'm guessing we're going to get Drew and Bobby at Hell in a Cell, but what the fuck are they doing here? Literally, what are they doing? Why is your, your WWE Champions just came off of a big win last night from beating two big guys? To the, what the, I don't, I'm not saying Kofi's not a big guy, right? But, you know what I mean? Like, he's no... They've not portrayed him as a big guy, like a, a WWE champion level guy recently. And I two point five for this. Overall, two stars. I've literally looked WTF. So what the fuck is going on? What are they doing? Like, literally felt like this show was booked last minute, and more than likely it probably was. They've probably sat last night and went cool. So what are we going to do? Because last night was all was good. We need to try and work it I'm talking about backlash but I don't even know what they were trying to do here some of it made sense some of it wasn't the dad jokes really saved the show for me um, but I, like why is Kofi beating Bobby Lashley like why are they not having Bobby Lashley as a dominant like a dominant person and I get Drew came out and intervened right whatever you want to say about that no let, let Drew come out and try and intervene but Bobby Lashley still gets a kick out MVP grabs him then Bobby Lashley gets a win over Kofi. That would have made more sense. Like, that would have literally would have made a little bit more sense. Why is Kofi in two matches tonight? I literally don't get that. What John Morris and Damien Priest, great. So you just put that lumberjack match in there when you could have. We could have literally just had that one on Sunday, but no. We could have just not had a lumberjack match at all and done something better. Asuka versus Charlotte Flair. We don't need to see this, do you know what I mean? Asuka getting a win, it doesn't matter. Charlotte's going to be in the main event anyway against Rhea Ripley, probably. Um, Ricochet and Sheamus was the only thing that really shaped, shaved, saved the show for me. Um, the women's tag team division is a joke. They really need to build some substance there. Hopefully Tamina and Natalia kind of start to work something into a s- believable belt. Because <laughs> it's fucking... No, I don't give a shit about that tag team belt at all. I f- honestly forget most of the time that it's there until I do these reviews and I'm like, oh, I... Remember that? <laughs> anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed today's show. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about last night's show, and I will see you back here later on today for a podcast, which is a really cool podcast. You need to check it out. It'll be up at 6 o'clock my time, which is Scottish UK time. Um, I don't know what that is across the world. I think it's like 2 o'clock Eastern. And uh, aye. You can work it out yourself. So it's up at 6 o'clock my time. You will get a notification if you hit that wee bell. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it and I'll see you back here later on tonight. See you later.